In this video, we'll introduce three methods to set your costs in bulk for products with similar ROI values, existing products with different costs, and new listings. Additionally, we'll provide a demonstration on setting automatic min and max values for new listings. First method is to use bulk action and set costs for the same ROI. This method is useful if you have similar existing items that you need to set the costs in bulk. Often for these items, they would have similar ROI as well. Step one, under active listings, select the listings that you want to set the costs in bulk by checking off the boxes on the left. Step two, go to the bulk actions and select set costs and set this to on for this option. Depending on your purpose, we have two options. One is your price plus shipping. The other one is a fixed price. If you select your price plus shipping, that is the price you originally set when you list the product on Amazon. The second one is a fixed price. Pick what you need and don't forget to insert the numbers as well. Method number two, bulk insert your cost for different ROI. This method is suitable for those whose existing products have different costs, groups, or product categories. The following steps will help you insert the cost quickly in bulk. Step one, go to your active listing tab and make sure the status is set as active before you hit filter. Step two, download the listing file on the right-hand side of the screen. Open the file and insert the costs of your items. Step number three, after you're done inserting the numbers, save the file as a TXT file or a TXB if you're using Google Sheets. Step four, Upload the saved TXT by clicking Upload File and make sure it's uploaded to the active listing file. Method three, setting costs in bulk for new listings. This method is for adding new listings to Be Cool from Amazon after you already did the initial setup. Step one, go to settings and a window will pop up. Step two, if you're already using Inventory Lab, you could turn it on and this will synchronize all of the costs coming from Inventory Lab. There's three different types of costs, the highest price that you paid for, the average of all the different costs, and the current cost you paid for for acquiring the item. If you wanna set your min and max automatic once you receive a listing, then you need to make sure that the default cost setting is turned on. So step number three, we recommend setting on the default settings. If you have inventory lab integration costs turned on and also the default costs turned on, it would depend on when the system received the report. If we received inventory labs report first, then we would use that to calculate the min and max prices. For step number three, when you set the default cost on, you could use your price plus shipping or fixed price. Most of our clients, they use your price plus shipping minus a certain amount for the min and add a certain amount for the max. Step number four, once you set the default cost on, you can set the default min prices or the max prices, and also a rule to everything that is newly imported. Step number five, if you use cost to calculate your mins and max, then you need to add the shipping costs. So if you're using FBM seller, then you could insert your shipping costs here. If you're an FBA seller, you could set the default as $0 as your FBA shipping costs. You could also set additional costs for both FBM and FBA. These will include your prep fees, also your packaging and labeling fees, and any other fees that you have that's not included in the shipping. What's really important, if you set FBA additional costs, these will be your inbound shipping that you ship into Amazon. So usually it's 30 cents per pound. Step number six, when you're all done adjusting the setting, hit the save button. For more information, you could go to the question mark, click on it, and there's a search knowledge base which will bring you to the support site. There's also more video tutorials that you can watch and learn about the features in detail.